Hello Libra, welcome to your February 2020 reading. Thanks for joining us. My name's Michelle. My name's Richard. We'll be doing a he said, she said star reading. I'll be reading as you, Libra. Richard will be reading as the person that you're dealing with. Of course, it can resonate the opposite way around. So whatever side resonates the most, that's your message, Libra. Of course, if you're cross-watching, a Libra may, it may resonate as the Libra you're dealing with. Goddess of Beauty. We also have Milestones as the oracles for the month. Goddess of Beauty speaks about there's nothing to change or fix about a particular situation or even yourself. Milestone though. Milestone tells me that there's an upcoming celebration or a reason to celebrate around you. This could be in relation to yourself going through some kind of major transformation where you've done some inner work or outer work and you're feeling really good about yourself and getting to your getting to that place in in life where you feel there's nothing more that you need to do in terms of, of your own your own work on yourself that's kind of the energy that i'm picking up around you libra it's really beautiful energy now richard has pulled a card from the dark mirror and it is fragmentation when rage is projected inward destruction joins confusion and we break Losing a sense of self is a crescendo of noise, a decrescendo of pain, and a prelude to nothingness. Mm. So someone around you seems to be going through some difficulties. For you, there may have been a temptation to perhaps compare yourself or to feel like that was a, a problem that somehow reflected on you, but I get that you don't need to think that way. So we'll see where that goes, Libra. The bottom of the deck for you, I've got the two of wands. I've got the eight of swords over here. So you have uh, you have choices when it comes to where you go next, what you do. I feel like there's this energy of positivity around you, Libra, which is fabulous. Yeah, I can't help but wonder if this person is not in such a positive state. Mm. Let's have a look at the status of the relationship, how you're viewing this person, what's working for you, what's working against you. What it is that you should do in the situation, what you shouldn't do, and the likely outcome. Okay, status of the relationship. How this person viewing you, Libra? Strengths, weaknesses, what this person should keep doing, what they should stop doing, and the outcome if nothing changes. Okay. We have the lovers. It's good energy. It feels to me about a choice to be made in love choosing the right person, having that harmonious relationship, reconnecting, could be reconciliation as well. Goddess of beauty, it could be after a period of inner work or outer work, a combination of the two, but nevertheless there is love here between you and this other person. All right, let's look over here at status of the relationship. We have the Ace of Swords, it's clarity. It's the ability to make coherent decisions. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see how you're viewing this other person. The Seven of Wands. Okay. What I'm getting here is that during a time there's been some difficulty between you and this other individual, but you've stood your ground. You've been the strong one in this. The other person not so much. I feel like they've given you the, your fair share of troubles, of problems. Nevertheless, you've stood tall, you've stood strong, and you've been in a, a, a a position of advantage because I feel that you've been you've been the one here who has been quote unquote right. Yeah, you have the moral high ground. The moral high ground. Mm. We have over here the Queen of Wands. This is how they're viewing you, Libra, which I think is great energy. You've been very supportive of this person through whatever trial that they've been going through. I feel like now though they're in a they're at a point where they're leaving that behind. Mm, yeah. They have the ability now to make a coherent decision to recognize you for who you are. It's really nice energy. Now, when it comes to the strength here, what's working for you, we've got the King of Swords, but they're in the reverse. So it's interesting because what I'm getting around this is it's someone who is not being authentic, not being true someone who is likely to lie, to hide the truth. There's a ruthlessness to this person. 
there's a, a feeling here of coldness not being emotionally involved but it's coming up as the strength so i feel like this is for some reason i feel like this is a, someone else mm, i don't know i'm beginning to think it might be it's a what's an air sign it right? is an air sign it's an, you think this could possibly be gemini energy no I, i'm thinking this is libra i'm thinking this is this is libra and what's happening is that libra you have acted ruthlessly because you needed to okay all right so not reacting emotionally to this person's whatever they've been doing here well not putting up with their whatever they've been up to yeah and perhaps being a little bit ruthless about it it could be but, but why because you had to be libra mm. let's take a look at the strengths over here the strength over here we have the eight of pentacles but it's in the reverse mm. as a strength you know, generally speaking, when a, we see the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I look upon that as being like a, um, a midlife crisis. And in this case, I think that this is something this person had to go through. But I feel like they're through it now. Okay. Let's see what the weakness is. The Four of Wands. So maintaining stability. Having something... Well, I look at this as a celebration. A milestone coming out of a time where there's been struggles problems in a relationship getting to a point where you can celebrate having achieved for some reason i, I get a feeling here that libra you feel like someone hasn't had your back i think you're someone who's achieved a high, i get high achiever energy around you you are the empress you are someone who has the ability to create good things in your life by yourself I, I don't think that you need anyone as per se to help you along the way i think you've managed this for the most part by hard work uh, determination grit and so you've achieved a lot in your life but yet there's someone around you who somehow undermines that or they have in the past Yes, they've had their own issues and... Undermining they, your achievement. Yeah, and they've, they've affected you and mm. your ability to achieve, I think. And how you've seen yourself. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at the, the weakness over here. We have the Ten of Swords as a weakness. Mm. You know, I can't help but wonder if, Libra, your partner has been unfaithful to you, mm. but now it's over. Mm. And if they've... Uh, They've spent some time getting getting over this, and you know that's uh, it's not a great position to be in, Libra. When you're the one who's supposed to be the one who's the focus of this person, mm. and yet what they've been doing is spending time getting over a relationship they probably shouldn't have been in in the first place. Yeah, let's take a look and see what you need to continue to do. The Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I I feel very strongly here, Richard that this is about a breakup i mean i hate to say it that way but that that's the way that i'm seeing this now this should be a time in your life that you're celebrating celebrating finding uh, comfort i think it's been hard fought but libra i get that you're in an age where you should be able to sit back comfortably look at what you have gained all of the results that you've created for yourself after uh, working your butt off basically feeling like you should be at this place but yet somehow you're not it's not because of you it's a, because of somebody else now the thing is you need to be really strong in maintaining what you've created for yourself you've built up your own little empire here so the thing is by being richard was right with the with the kind of ruthless kind of energy i think you need to be very cut off from your emotions in terms of, of how you react to this other person. I think this person's going to see you <coughs> as being ruthless. Mm. I, I think it's necessary though. I think it's I think you need to be yeah. a certain way. They they need to be set straight. Yeah, it's it's so you can keep what you've built thus far. Mm. <coughs> the three of swords in reverse tells me that for you this is over. Mm. I feel like it is, but you need to keep going along the way that you've been i think you've been handling everything pretty well actually i mean yes it's hurtful but the pain is starting to die off it's diminishing i think this has happened a while ago this breakup 
But the thing is, you haven't lost sight of who you are in this. You've maintained your integrity. You've known what's right or wrong. This person seems to be wrong. And you've known that you need to work through the pain here to get to work through it, to learn what you need to learn, to see it for what it is, so that you can move on. Yeah, I, I'm beginning to see these cards here a little bit differently now mm. uh, with that kind of information. Yeah. Especially with that Three of Swords in reverse there. Yeah. The thing is, Libra, they still see you as the Queen of Wands. Mm. In other words, they see you as being right. Yes, you're yeah. still someone who they, they feel is, is very capable individual. The weakness here is actually the end of the relationship with this person. For this person, it's the, the weakness is the, the end of this relationship. Mm. So they've done wrong. Mm. Now, the thing is, they know they've done wrong with this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're not working on trying to, to woo you back to the other side. Mm. So you've been ruthless, but it's been a righteous kind of ruthlessness. Yeah. And this person, I don't think they see it as being unfair. In fact, I think they're pretty clear with this Ace of Swords as to exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at what we have here, the world, as uh, for what they should keep doing. In other words, treat this as being having has having been closed out, mm -hmm. uh, as the cycle being over, and so that they can move on to something else. Mm -hmm. What you shouldn't do, we've got the star. So with this one, I'm getting an essence around that of... Or well, hoping this could come back around. Yeah, wishing for something that is over the rainbow or not achievable. <clears throat> keep keep things in perspective, I feel, is the, the main issue that I'm seeing here. Not hoping for... Hoping for the best and, and just letting things happen to you. Letting letting destiny or, or karma take its course. I actually feel like you need to take matters into your own hands here to protect your own interests rather than just leaving it up to the universe. Yeah, that's why I see that King of Swords in reverse as yeah. being the, probably the most important card on that side mm. because it defines what you need to do. You yeah. need, you know, it defines you needing to be ruthless. It yeah. defines you needing to be uh, in charge of your own destiny. Yeah. So over here, what this person should stop doing, we have the Two of Swords in the upright. So what they're being called on not to do here is to sit on the fence. Now, we do have the Ace of Swords down here as the status of the relationship. In other words, it's clear mm -hmm. what's going on. And they're being called on here to not, not be unclear about what's happening in this relationship. It's clear that this is over. It's clear, Libra, that you made it over, and it's because they did something they shouldn't have done. Mm. The outcome for you is the hermit. Now, it is, it is a period of uh, time alone, but I actually feel that this is good energy for you, Libra. I think it's necessary, Libra, because you need to... You were on your way to this milestone. Mm. I have a feeling that this person kind of puts you off the path a bit. Mm. This gives you an opportunity now to take your destiny into your own hands and begin to work on making that milestone a reality. Yeah, because Goddess of Beauty tells me that you're a wondrous being of light. There's nothing to change or fix when it comes to you. But the flip side of this card speaks about honouring the person that you are and attracting wonderful and generous people into your life that will love and appreciate you. And this is what I see here. That's what you that's what you're wanting to attract into your life. And it's by being yourself. The feeling here is comparing yourself. Especially if this person's gone off to be with somebody else. It's recognizing that you shouldn't compare yourself to others. You have to take a really honest, loving look at yourself in the mirror, see what you've accomplished. And you've accomplished a lot, Libra. I get this as your accomplishment. Nothing to do with this other person, by the way. They've been there, but you've taken on a lot of this family role. I feel like it's, it's really been down to you to keep things together. You've had a career as well, I feel. So you've had a lot of things going on in your life which you have 
which you should be enjoying. You should be enjoying still, but it tells me that th this person seems to have somehow decided to take a different road. Yes, and, and it's a road that is not morally morally sound, by the way. No. You do have the moral high ground here, Libra. This person has gone off and done something they shouldn't have done. Mm. That is, they've probably gone off and been with somebody else. Yeah. Let's take a look at the outcome. Yes. Look at that. The fool in reverse. So they've gone off. They've done something quite reckless here. Mm. The thing is, though, there's no coming back from it. Yeah, there's no, there's no reconciliation. There's no getting back together with you, Libra. They've really, they, they haven't, uh, they haven't just upset the apple cart. They've turned it over and broken the wheels mm. off. Mm. You know, this is the, the the act that this person has done has been so egregious mm. as to not be, not to have any ever ever come back from it. With this King of Swords in reverse that we we keep on focusing on here. I see this as you not letting your foot off their throat. Mm. I mean, if this if this person owes you something, then you need to collect. And what that means is you fight for what you need and you do so in an angry and ruthless fashion. Mm. You are deserving of whatever you are, uh, whatever you're trying to get here. Mm. It's taking on this Empress energy, recognizing that you're a beautiful person, but also looking at your strength. So what I'm seeing here is if this person thinks that you're going to be easy or that it's, you're going to be a pushover, I have them coming up against quite a formidable individual in yourself, Libra. And ab Absolutely, and I, I see you. With that being the strength, it mm. means you have it in you, even if you don't realise that you have it in you. Mm. So it's time for you to stand up, Libra, it's time for you to take what's yours and to exact uh, get your pound of flesh yeah yeah it, it's by being very very direct and recognizing what you've built i get this as you building your empire here not wanting to let that go not seeing this as something that you're easily going to let go of so we'll see where this goes in part two. Interesting reading. If this is resonating, please do join us there. The link is below in the descriptions box and that will be available on the Vimeo channel. Be about another 30 to 40 minute reading. We'll be going in depth and also pulling out some uh, oracle cards rather to see where this goes in the future. Of course, if you'd prefer a personal reading, you can email me for further information. My email address is gypsyinsights at gmail.com. If this one doesn't resonate with you, Libra, of course it can be, vice versa, or this may be someone around you, or if you're cross-watching, a Libran may be doing this to you. If it doesn't resonate at all, then please do check out our Soul for Repair playlist. Those readings are done in this style, but they're not sign or time dependent, so when you're led to view them is when you're meant to be viewing them. So please check those out if you haven't already, and we're always adding new ones, of course. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your uh, continued viewing of the, the readings, and we hope that you are enjoying the new year. Now, Libra, if this is you, the thing is you, you, are, you do have the moral high ground here. You have to maintain your position. And uh, it seems that uh, we'll see where this goes, but the, at this point, you know, there's a possibility that... Uh, Either way, I feel like you come out in a position of strength. I feel that very strongly around you, Libra. And it's because of who you are. Just being yourself. Just being who you are. So we'll see you in part two, or we will speak to you again very soon. Bye for now, Libra. Thanks, Libra. Goodbye and good luck.